you don't know, the Clayway is growing. Money might start flowing. A couple weeks ago, we hit over 70,000 followers. Thank you very, very much. Consistently, we've been getting over half a million views a month for the past year or so. So, I need me a new man. What you mean, I'm not good enough for you? Man, you're a damn dummy. I need somebody who knows what the frick they're doing and has a little bit of comical sense of humor. What you mean I ain't funny? Well, all sorts of funny stuff. Come on, man. You know I'll be all the man you'll ever need. Who are you trying to fool? It took you a year and a half to figure out how to do this, and look at how crappy these damn welds are. You suck. I know stuff. I know stuff you don't know. Come on, man. You ain't gay. Are you? I can't tell if you're joking or serious, and I really need to know if you're joking or serious, man. Definitely don't judge down here at the Clayway. So, after all of my inventions, literally can't keep up any longer by myself. So I need to find someone that is inspiring and empowering, just like me. Knows a little bit about mechanical repairs and not only shows people how to do things, but why they're doing them in the first place. And I've invented so many different things, it takes up a lot of time to create all of them and work on all of my projects. You might be saying, well, what did you invent? My trailing arm brackets that go on Chevrolet's 20 freaking years. And if you don't know, you don't have these in your Chevy Equinox, MC Terrain, Pontiac Torrent, Saturn View. That thing's headed to the junkyard. I designed these so it don't sell about eight of these a month maybe sometimes 10. We do some installs now and then. There's a lot of money down here at the Clayway that didn't used to be here six months ago, eh? My Sprinter's leashing program for the 3.0 CRD diesel. I can do all this stuff by myself. I need to get me a man. Be the right kind of man. Somebody to make you laugh, kind of like me. Somebody who knows how to kind of weld, hopefully a little bit better than I do. Somebody that can help me problem solve, fabricate, come up with solutions for problems. In general, I think I know just the man. I've known it for a number of years. Poor though, I never had any money to give him. So this guy that I'm thinking about. Richard Derby. His name is actually Dick. So that means he's a Dick Derby. He's a Dick Derby. Like some kind of new game we ain't heard of. It's not Dick Shook. Didn't know a guy named Dick Shook. What's his parents thinking? He moved from Michigan to Arizona a couple years ago. He is hilarious. Excellent fabricator. Excellent repair guy. Knows a lot of stuff. Probably not as much as this guy. He's great. He will help inspire and empower people just like you to do things yourselves, just like I do. He's definitely not the next to them, and he is the first to him. This guy has taught me jokes like, man, this song really wants to make me move my shoulders. And only one time, and he says, play, they got me. I says, who got you? He says, the cops got me. They was looking for a badass and a retard. You better grab your crayons and your helmet and start running. That's freaking hilarious. So I drove all the way from Michigan to see some of my family in Dallas. We're headed over to Arizona to see him. We're going to SEMA. We're coming back, flying back to Dallas so we can be on the next great speaker which is a show that they're trying to start. It's a show, it's kind of like American Idol for motivational speakers. And I think I'm a motivational speaker. I'll be motivational and speaking all the time. But I can't see any possibility of being successful, but I'm gonna still try anyways. And with me there, maybe it will be, you never know. You may want to check that out this weekend from the live Cameron will put a link down in the description of this video so you can watch it. And you can watch me make a complete ass out of myself. Probably used to that by now, though. So we're doing that. Let's talk about what I'm offering him. So you can tell me, if you want to do this job if he declines, you can tell him why he should if he don't. Well, first off, he gets to work with this guy. Like that isn't enough already. Including that, he gets one of these sweet shirts. Maybe a couple, because they might get a little bit dirty. It's my YouTube. That piece can go as high as $2,000 a month. Realistically, to start, it's going to be somewhere between two to $400 a month because we don't make that much right now. But we will in the future because we're badasses. Plus, kind of 2500 bucks Signing bonus, but I'm buying his wrecked truck that he hasn't been able to sell or hasn't tried to sell. I don't know. He wanted $1,900 for it. My show's going to give him $2,500 for it. It's a diesel Duramax. So we might be able to make something out of it someday in the future. Good for the show. 600 bucks a week, which I know don't sound like much, but you need to listen for the rest. For the first year and a half, 5% of the profits from any car we sell. Right now I own 16 cars. Most of the time I pay somewhere between 1,000 to 1,500 bucks for each car. Usually my channel, once we do all the repairs and stuff, we can get eight 
to ten thousand dollars out of them i buy really nice cars i know a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars doesn't sound like much or like i get much but you haven't seen the shit i got get completely junk drunk this stuff would have went to scrap, build that stuff and make it super nice. Like the $1,200 Jeep Commander Redline that we just got done with on the show sold for $9,500. I only paid $1,200 for it and I only had $2,800 in it when I was done. And we only sell cars that are really super good mechanically. 5% of my YouTube up to $2,500 a month. Um, it probably would only equate to about three or four hundred bucks a month. Still better than nothing. Channel should be growing any day now. No, it's not like you ain't been saying that for the last five freaking years, dude. It will someday. I'm certain of it. I'm working a lot harder these days. 10% of any retail shop service that we do after all the bills are paid and quite a few of you like to bring stuff to me from all over the country most of the time i turn a lot of work down with another person i might not have to turn that work down and we might be able to open a retail store but i don't really want to deal with a bunch of pains in the asses but i found that most people that watch my channel they're really not that bad to deal with so that's cool another thing that's included is 10% of my bracket sales while we're in business together is about $25 to $35 per unit times 8 to 10 a month. That's a lot of extra coin, bud. Basically, I'm offering about $4,500 to $5,500 a month the chance of expansion. And if he can help me grow the channel, he's going to make a whole lot more not that much further down the road plus free room and board at my house which is a big house he knows my house he's been there many times and he even gets to bring his dog i have dogs hopefully they get along i probably wouldn't offer this to just about anybody i this guy i've known him for years he's a friend of mine i know how he works i know how he thinks as long as him and i work really well this should be a great relationship and you folks are going to really enjoy it so please encourage him down in the comments below to accept this job because it's gonna be good for him. If I didn't think it was good for him, I wouldn't offer it to him. He doesn't have any family in Arizona. He's just got a job. I don't know how long he's been there. I don't know if he'll say yes or no. But if he does say no, this might be a chance for you to show me up down below. Send me your email with your resume. If you're interested in something similar to this kind of money, that'll probably turn into well over $10,000 a month in not a long period of time. Great Clayway giveaway at gmail.com. That's how you do it. Remember, don't be the next to them, be the first to you. And if anyone else can do it, you can do it too. God bless, folks. Me out this Saturday. Great American speaker. Love you.